Hi, my name is Dr. Charvin Alawali, and today we're going to be talking about neck pain and neck problems. We have the exclusive access to the uh, Body Roads exhibit in Edmonton, Alberta, where we'll be using the, these wonderful plastinate models to explain to you and educate you on different conditions. So, what is exactly neck pain and what is whiplash? All too often, whiplash is trauma related, and that can be from a car accident, any other recreational vehicle where your head comes forward and then comes back, <coughs> or vice versa. They call that hyperextension and hyperflexion. Some of the symptoms people complain of or experience when they have neck problem is inflammation or they'll have pain in their neck uh, at the base of their skull. It'll be in their upper back, shoulder area. There could even be neurological signs such as numbness and tingling running down the upper back or into the arms and hands. Words, if we look at the neck here, we're going to see that you know, some of the common areas at the front here, <coughs> the muscle goes across here is called the sternocleidomastoid or SCM. Some of the deeper muscles in here will commonly get restricted. And the problem is, in this area here, we've got something called the brachial plexus, which is a network of nerves. Out from your neck here, obviously in the center, your spine, spinal cord, nerve roots coming out, they form a network of nerves called the cervical plexus, which forms this little guy here called the brachial plexus. Now the problem is, when these muscles get short and contracted, they end up compressing on those nerves. Consequently, you start getting all sorts of signs and symptoms like numbness, tingling, pain down your arms in different patterns. But a lot of that could be coming directly from this area here, from really tight contracted structures here. So, as Tar Dr. Alawali or Tarveen was mentioning, quite often we'll get forward posture here, where the pectoralis muscles at the front here get very short and contracted. So the shoulders start to go in. That tightens up everything at the back here. So how do we treat neck problems and whiplash? What we do is we work in the soft tissue structures such as those indicated by Dr. Abelson and we find out exactly where the patient is restricted. We look at muscles, ligaments, tendons and nerves that pass through that area and find out where the adhesions are formed. Once we've determined those areas that are ropey, tight and there's nodule-like formation, we know where our adhesions are. We use soft tissue treatment methods such as active release, Grostin, massage therapy, and sometimes even manipulation to determine what areas are restricted. We break up those restrictions and once those restrictions are broken up, we give our patients exercises and rehabilitation things to do at home. For instance, if it's postural related, we'll give them postural awareness exercises where they're carrying their back straight and shoulders uh, back and head up. And we'll make them more aware of their current posture and try to correct it into more of a straight spine. We'll also give stretches to stretch out areas such as the pectoralis or upper back area. And then to top that all off, we'll give them strengthening exercises to build strength in those muscle fibers and soft tissue fibers so that you don't have scar tissue formation and everything can glide appropriately and all the, uh, all the muscles can tr do their appropriate actions.